What in the world is that? Well, that's the army worm. And that's the arm worm, and that's the arm worm. And there's another arm worm. Welcome back to Mid-10, folks. It's another beautiful sunny day down here. It's been a good day to go cut some corn. We've already moved the grain cart a little bit ways up on the hill. We're gonna walk back up to the back, move stuff up there, and uh, start back at it once again. We had rain over the weekend. Things are looking good. Grass is grained back up. We might actually get a second cutting out of, or a third cutting out of some of this hay, which would be good. So when I brought, took a tractor up there and parked it in the shade, I walked back down to uh, get the combine, and I noticed stuff on the ground. And I said, "What in the world is that?" Well, that's the army worm, and that's the arm worm, and that's the arm worm, and there's another arm worm. We got that one. That's three down. We better go get the sprayer. I ain't got time to sit out here like this. It'd be a lot more fun to do it like this. More economical, go get the sprayer. So we're gonna run back and pull her out of the shed, fill it full of water, and we'll catch back up with you. We're on all these worms, boys. They've invaded our land, and they will never leave again. You can see they don't the grass pretty bad. Haven't touched the weed. But we are doing a perimeter spray right now. We're gonna go around one time in this field, and then spray back. We don't want them to get out of here. We're setting a perimeter, making a kill zone. We're gonna kill them out here. Yeah, but you can see the blank spots. When they had done, annihilated the grass. Good thing we caught them when we did. You know, I mean, if I had a smooth day, I don't know what I would do. Trying to make sure I don't play this thing off the trees over here. Well, there's spots we're not gonna be able to get into. Like we're not able to get over there. We can get close. Shoot our knees trees. Turn on these old stumps. I'm gonna bust the tire. Yeah, after spraying fields, cropland. And then it comes spray next, you realize that, uh, yeah. Uh, these fields are rougher than you think they are. Pretty rough ride. Just like that scenery change. Yeah, we up in the old combine again. How's the corn doing? Oh, not too good. Not too good at all. It is. Yeah, it's bad. So I've cut all the end rows on the whole field and filled the combine up once. So that's 200 bushels out of all the end rows, out of 24 end rows. But this is up on a hill up here. You gotta see the slope down there, the back air. But I'm looking at it, it's got a good bit of grass coming back up in it. I'm thinking maybe we do a little bit of fence fixing up here and we turn the cows in up here. Let them run a little bit, get something out of it. It's sad corn, I mean, it's, it's, he's sad. But it's weird, you got ears that are this big and you got ears that are this big. And you get out here towards the middle and you hit spots, there's nothing. So what I'm thinking is the heat got trapped out here in these fields out in it and just couldn't get out. 
but that he could get off the edges and just couldn't get out of the middle of the field at night. Uh, and look, it's just, it's just barely fiddling then. You look at that, you think, well, are we doing anything? Are we selling anything at all? Yeah, we are. It's just, you know, every year can't be a bin buster. If you notice, I got, I got the snout almost on the ground to try to catch all these ears. We're catching most of them. Some are small enough that they're small enough and soft enough that they're pulling right through the head. It's been a while since I've seen that. Anywho, I'm going to keep tooling along here, trying not to get too sad about these corn yields in this field. And uh, I'm sure other fields will get better, and I'm sure other fields will get worse. Well, we got down to the last strip of this corn. It is not doing good. Really, you know, 55, 60 bushel range. Eh, whatever. That's it. So, I'm gonna dump this in the grain cart and do the poop shuffles. <laughs> Look at there. Oh, another phone. Another day, another phone. Got one field done. It is not doing great. You know, that's the story today. of this year. But, you know, we're well, just gonna keep rolling at it. We've been cutting. Since 11, it's 2.30 now, and I have cut two truckloads. There's Jesse showing up. My help's finally here. He's just in time to see these low yields just keep rolling in. Oh, this particular field, well, it was bad up here, and getting down there to that low end of the field where it's wet, it's probably 150 bushel corn. These little knolls up here, we're zero. What do you do? What do you do? Welcome back to Mid 10. Another day of cutting garbage corn. Garbage corn. You look at the field here. Tall corn, short corn, short corn, tall corn, short corn. Yeah, drought corn. Yeah, this ain't fun. Got drought corn takes all the fun out of the harvest. Good news is, I guess we're gonna have to run one dump truck right now. We'll keep it up. He's cutting this one field here out. We gotta cut this field, and we gotta move. One of those last tree line there is. 16 acres, we're gonna have to go hit the road and come back around and get to that. It won't take long to knock this out here. God, uh, it's not out any Like everything else so far this year. Looks like the garbage. Good news is, it's actually a little mud on tires. So, we got the moisture in the ground anyway. A little moisture. Maybe our late beans will. Okay, I guess my beans look. My beans have beans have a lot of beans in the pods right now. They're small. I hope I got enough life left in them to put some weight on. Some of them will, some of them won't. Well, there goes Alex. Got another dump in there. I've got a bow off. The center bow in that grain cart is loose on one side, so. Just try to climb in there, and with one dump, it's not tall enough for me to get back out, I don't think, easily. I'm too old to make it climb out. So I need to put another dump in that thing here in a second. I'll climb in there and set that bow back in the holder where it needs to be and make me a little shim. I got me a Coke can here. So I make me a little shim, I say, it's in there tighter. Oh, Amish corn. See Amish corn? Let's look at Amish corn. There's just Amish corn right there. They got it up in their bundles. They come through and and uh, cut it and stood it up in bundles and tied it up 
right there, you see? And I come back and get that and put it up on a wagon. Then I think they got a shucker. I can't think what they got. But anyway, they got a machine that run through, get the cobs off of it, and go from there. But that's their, that's almost cutting corn right there. Well, he's putting the second load in there. We get up there in second and see if uh, we can fall out of it. I think I can. I think I can fall out of it. We'll get up there and try it in a minute. Trying to climb the grain cart now. See that bowl right over there? Can you see that camera point? Yep, or right over. That one's out. Should be in right there. Problem with this ladder on this grain cart, it ain't really tall enough. Uh, corner of my boots. Ladder ain't really tall enough to get all the way up there at times. Up, oh, cans down. I'll go get the can in a minute. Hope I don't need no more. Fold it over like so. Fold it so it goes over. Jim. Yeah. yeah. Let's fold it one more time. Even tighter. Let me stay down, see how fall out. That's better. Let's see how it holds. Oh. Long ways down. I see the ladder. Don't come all the way top. Nice, in it? Love you guys up here so, you film, so I can film my death. That's your fall off this thing. Make for good YouTube content. What's all about, right? Go find my can. There it is. Flatten it out. Start rolling around the tractor. Little so Don just pulled up our bar. Fill him up. First field done. Or second field done. First field done is what I got here. We are going to, I think there's 15 acres left, let's say, maybe. We'll go up here and run a comma up our first, and then come out and get a grain cart. Sitting up here by the road, waiting for Jesse to come lead the way. Don't feel like taking the head off. We gotta go a couple of miles around. So yeah, I had one field back there do roughly 80, one the next field over do 140. The only difference is one field, the first field was a bigger, a bigger square field. It looks like it caught more sun. The other field was a long rectangle. And the way the sun is right now, it gets shade on like three quarters of that field. So that's good. I mean, I'll take 140. In a year like this year, it's that's that's good. All right, we're here. We got this field to cut, and we got to go past them trees to cut another field. Seven o'clock. We've got moved over here. So the docks back here. We got two fields: one here and another one right, one here, and then one right there to get driveway right there in the trees, which is a smaller field. I got a first one knocked out. It's uh, making awesome corn. My collar corn is this year. At least we got something to cut. So, like where we're at, we'll get this cut here. We'll go back to the next field and we'll call it a night at that point. We think we'll get it cut tonight before we stop. It'll probably be dark and uh, move in the morning somewhere else. 
want to check a couple fields that we're moving to. We've got some, we've got a lot of fields in this area close by about, uh, I don't know, we got five or six farms in this area close by my farm. A big farm Alex got rented over here and another farm I got rented. So we got a couple fields we can move to. And we'll have to see which one is the closest to being ready. Maybe we'll find something we take town. That'd be nice to take some, some town market. If not, we'll go to farm for something in the bend market. I'll get up on this hill up here and wait for him and see where he's at. I can see him from right here across the whole field. There goes Don with no load. Getting close to being done now. It's starting to get dark out here, as you can probably tell. It looks like Alex has just went back to that backfield right there, so we'll go back here and catch him. But to give everybody an idea how poor our corn is doing right now, I hate to keep saying that, but how's doing it? We're running one dump truck this year, folks, right now. We have not got another dump truck out. We don't need it. When he gets back from the grain bin, I'm sitting here in the car, ready to fill him back up, and I go catch Alex and come back, and Alex ain't sitting still right now. So if Alex ain't sitting still, that means we are sure enough not putting out that many bushel if we ain't got the dump, we ain't got the dump truck out yet at least. I ain't got the semi out. The semi's ready to go. It's sitting there. We're keeping up with uh, 600 bushel grain cart, uh, dump truck of hauls, I think it hauls 400 bushel. We're at, and the combine is not sitting still waiting. Usually we got all three trucks running. The combine sits still waiting. Field. You know, it looks better. Not great, but better. What are you going to do? Lights. We're rolling on it. Get a bug in here. Ugh, we're rolling on it. We got half the field cut back here, which ain't great. Got this big harvest moon up there, so we're gonna use her while we can. We have three fourths way through this field. It's doing, yeah, you know, it's doing. It's making bushels. So, ain't a lot, but it's making. That's it. Yeah, I 
think we did about 110 on it. I think we did about 110. So better, not great, but better. Get down here and dump this last of the buggy. And you know, all the night is dark. But remember, if you like what you see, subscribe. Drop a comment on the video. You know, like when you feel like it, like always. It's the good Lord's will. Catch on the flip side. Till the next.